this uh, is my 28th year farming. Uh, we, uh, I grew up here on the farm, but then after college returned back and been farming steadily since 1988. I've been growing peanuts as long as I've been farming and have always been proud to be known as a peanut farmer. In growing a, a crop that's so wholesome and, and nutritious, uh, something that uh, can feed not only folks in this country but around the world. Some years it may be an easy crop to grow and some years it's very challenging. Uh, we've been at it for quite a long while. Sometimes we're, we're still using some of the production practices, maybe the basic things from when I started. But then there's other things change, uh, new technologies that we get to use now. Uh, it's challenging, but it's probably one of the most rewarding things that, that we get to do. challenges that we're faced with right now and we faced last year and probably will face for the years to come is because of our success in being able to grow peanuts and the price, the depressed commodity prices of other commodities, uh, the price is down. And so now it becomes a financial challenge to grow peanuts or perhaps anything. So I mean now we're really concentrating on how, how do we do this and do it efficiently and, and manage all those variables. Still having, being able to produce that incredible crop that we always grow, but we've got to do it cheaper. Well, what we're always hoping doesn't happen is we have such a bad year we have to get out of farming. <laughs> the economic stress is probably one of the largest ones I can think of over my whole career. And uh, it's always there. We basically risk everything that our family has every year to make a crop and hope and pray that there's enough income comes back in to pay those bank loans off and to meet all our needs and obligations and start again. Some of the things that I've done, and I started this about five years ago, is reducing our fungicide usage. But uh, achieving the same results, and one of the tools I use is spraying peanuts at night. So if you come by here at two o'clock in the morning in June and July, you might see people out there working, and that would be me spraying peanuts. And, it, and it's just a tool, and, and I don't know that many people use it anymore, but it, it, it works, it, and it, it gives you better better use of the chemicals that we have and, and I think we're all concerned about how do we do this with without using as many chemicals I mean that's I'm not no no opposition to using good science but the bottom line is we have to be concerned about the bottom line <laughs> the peanuts and peanut butter has so many vitamins and so much nutritional value that uh, it's even used to bring malnutrition children back into good health within a, a short period of time. So I'm proud to be a part of that. There are certain things that man cannot make, that God can, God can make happen. And I don't care what you say, when you put that peanut seed in the ground, and in 10 days it's up and growing. 
that's nothing short of a miracle. Our duty is to try to care for that as best we can. I don't hardly see how a farmer can't have faith. We take a seed, which some people would consider as dead, and put it in the ground, and it gets a little bit of moisture and the right temperature, and it sprouts and grows into something that's alive. I don't see how you do that without having faith. Peanut is so incredible because it's a legume, and I've seen it grown in Haiti in places that rivers had come through and just washed away the good farmland and now it's it's in the middle of a river and they went and planted peanuts out there and they did great but it was you know peanut will grow in so many different places and because of that high protein it's so nutritionally beneficial to the population that it's just like a I'm, I'm sorry it's a miracle food it really is Truly major crop. We grow more peanuts than anybody else in the country. Uh, normally about almost half of the peanuts in the whole country. Our planning for the 2016 crop began in 2014 with our rotation and our fertilization. And so now we're, you know, we're getting ready to plant this crop, but we've been preparing for it for two years. So we'll work with this for, for eight months or so. And then when you finally turn those peanuts over and see that and say, man, that's incredible. It's uh, about making a difference, about feeding people around the world, uh, your friends, your neighbors, and people you don't even know. Uh, it's just a good job to be doing.